My name's Erin Svechlin, and I'm the head of the Courtauld Gallery in London. I want to take the opportunity of this short film to welcome you to the gallery and to show you some of the highlights of our wonderful collection. The Courtauld Gallery is one of the finest small art museums in the world. It was founded, in fact, in 1932 as part of the Courtauld Institute of Art, which is one of the leading centers for the study of the history of art. The collections here at the gallery are of international caliber. They include, of course, the great Impressionist and post-Impressionist paintings for which we're most famous and for which we welcome visitors from around the world. But the collections range from the early Renaissance up until the second half of the 20th century. And in addition to paintings, they include a wonderful collection of over 7,000 drawings, prints, beautiful decorative arts, sculpture, furniture, and more. And this extraordinarily beautiful and rich collection can be enjoyed in the 18th century setting of Somerset House in central London. And it's this combination of truly outstanding works of art presented on a personal scale that makes a visit to the Courtauld Gallery so memorable and so unique. So although we're most famous here at the Courtauld for our great Impressionist and post-Impressionist paintings, the collection is very strong in other areas, including early Renaissance works of art. And the room that we're in at the moment houses some of the treasures from that early part of the collection, typically early Italian paintings, gold ground paintings, often with a devotional function. And behind me here, a very good example of that, an altarpiece painted by Bernardo Daddi in 1348. Well, here we are on the first floor of the gallery overlooking the fountains and courtyard of Somerset House. This is one of several rooms which houses the collection of Impressionist and post-Impressionist paintings left to us by one of our founders, Samuel Courtauld. Samuel Courtauld acquired these works for his private collection in the 1920s, and this is still the very finest collection of Impressionist works in England. It's distinguished not necessarily by the number of works, but by their outstanding quality. And so we have iconic pictures here, like Renoir's La Loge, shown in the first Impressionist exhibition in 1874. There is a fabulous group of 10 paintings by Cézanne. There are masterpieces also by Degas, by Gauguin, by Monet, and others. And of course, one of the most famous pictures of all is here to my right, and that is Manet's great bar at the Folie Bergère, completed in 1882, just before the artist's death and regarded as the summation of his whole ambition as an artist to paint modern life in Paris. It's one of the works which people travel great distances to come and wander at here for its beauty and its many sort of complexities. Next to me here is another one of the truly iconic pictures in the collection, Vincent van Gogh's self-portrait with bandaged ear, a painting that is known around the world, but still is extraordinarily powerful. It was, of course, painted in January 1889, very soon after van Gogh had been released from hospital, having mutilated his ear in December of the previous year after a violent quarrel with his fellow artist Paul Gauguin. Well, in each area of the collection, the gallery has outstanding masterpieces. Things like um, Lucas Cranach's Adam and Eve, the moment at which Adam is tempted uh, by Eve to take a bite of the apple. Or the picture behind me here, which is really one of my own personal favorites, this beautiful, lyrical, late landscape painted by Peter Paul Rubens. This is one of a group of 30 paintings by Rubens in the collection, 
we also have drawings and prints and letters by Rubens. And it was one of the strongest areas of the collection and one of the really great international groups of paintings by this singularly important painter. We have an important group of works by the Impressionist painter Edgar Degas, and in fact not just paintings, but also drawings and pastels and sculptures. And that is a very powerful collection of works to see an artist working in different media. The painting behind me now is a particularly important work produced by Degas in 1874, the same year in which Renoir painted his seminal picture La Loge, and the year in which the Impressionists held their famous first group exhibition. Well, the collections continue into the 20th century with work by artists such as Matisse and Kandinsky, and then into the second half of the century with full abstraction. And the collections are continuously growing we still get given works of art, and that is, in fact, the historic origins of the collection. And we also change the displays around, so you might find different things on view on successive visits to the Courtauld Gallery. Well, an important part of what we do at the gallery is organize temporary exhibitions. We organize three exhibitions each year. The exhibitions tend to have a very particular character. They're highly focused often organized around single masterpieces from our own permanent collection, which we look at in the context of important loans borrowed from museums and galleries nationally and internationally. Well, thank you for taking the time to listen to this tour. There is, of course, a great deal more at the gallery than I've had the time to be able to show you, but I hope you have the opportunity to visit in person and to enjoy this very, very special museum.